You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the Ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the Ring, the Crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the Ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of... supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing, and they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy, thanks to our friendly guide. <laughs> Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps, like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. Must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but y'all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work, 
Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. Was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Uh, are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? Yeah, but all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. <sighs> Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are our first order of business. All work and no play? Makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Wescom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yep, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee, or Magoo, or uh, Mago, that's the one. Nice. You can count on Old Wes, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. What's the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... Sid, it's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... Well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga... Mag, Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the... In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You want to check Wescombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Hello, care for some gelato on this fine day? Hello, care for some gelato on this fine day? I don't know where to go first. So, we're looking for the guy from the You're picture. You're not staying at a hotel? Fancy rooms were never my style. Need food? Managed to stay fed all these years. Not gonna starve to death now. And old Wes will see that I don't go thirsty either. You met old Wes? Lucian, born and broke. What's his story anyway? It started with a wound. Wes stayed here while he recovered. Then he stayed for good and opened up that shop of his. After the journey with His Majesty, he settled here and opened shop. He's an odd specimen.
Look, but don't touch. Do you like what you see? <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. Hello there! Step right up and try out Tisha's famous Freedy. They're crispy, crunchy, and oh so delicious. Hello there! Step right up and try out Tisha's famous Freedy. They're crispy, crunchy, and oh so delicious. The Empire effectively runs the show here. You lose sight of that when there's so much else to see. <gasps> Look, honey, it's just like the photo we saw in the It's a photographer's video. dream. What a city. I heard stories about this place, but it's even better than I imagined. We should take a picture. You know, use this as a backdrop. Oh yeah, good idea. Hey, could you take a picture for us? Sure, no problem. And make sure you can see what's behind us. <laughs> Got it. Okay, little closer. You want to pose or something? Sure. Looking good. Oh, uh, one more. What? One more it is then. Don't be embarrassed. I'm not. Then pose with me. Don't listen to her. I won't. Say cheese, ladies. Picture perfect. Thanks so much. Greetings. Based on the government's actions, it would seem Accordo is supportive of the Oracle. Despite being under the Empire's thumb. Therein lies the riddle. Is Lady Luna Freya truly safe? for a ride? We're good for now. How about a ride -a on the gondola? Yes, that's right. Ravis Knox Fleure, Lady Lunafreya's older brother. I didn't know she had a brother. A fearless one at that. And now he's the High Commander. have to get a picture with that guy. Shouldn't we, like, ask first? <laughs> For one picture? Right? Come on. Sid wasn't kidding. It is big. <laughs> Crowded, too. Wow. 
This place is so romantic. Then you get to enjoy it with us. All three of us. You are a lucky man. for a ride? Look! Huh? Hmm? Huh? Whoa, check out this view! It's beautiful. I have got to get this on film. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. And here we are. This it? Gotta be. Mago! Classy. I'd love to sample Altitia's Epicurean offerings. Would it be rude to ask about eats? Has that ever stopped you? No idea what kind of fish they have here. But if you catch it, I'll eat it. The Vivian Westwood store should be up these stairs. Seems everyone is making for the shop. She's a big deal. Big? Think you mean huge? You I truly that get the guy sense. was from Tenebrae. He is. So it must have been a hard pill to swallow, being forced to lead his enemy. One hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah. I'll think about it. Care for a nicey icy gelato? Everyone here is so stylish. Leviathan's We're stuck in travel black. She's the meanest and strongest of all the six. Isn't she cool, Dad? Uh, what do you think they're doing, Nock? There's no way the Nifs don't know about Lady Lunafreya's speech. <sighs> we got another one. A map that points to paper scraps. Let's see where it takes us. All right, but last time, got it? Fine. Now don't just hurl it as hard as you can. Remember what it 
That's it. What's Making up, wishes? Iggy? Throw I've come up stuff? with a <laughs> count me in. They're launching wishing birds. Wishing birds? They're an old Altitian tradition. You write your wish on a paper bird, and you throw it at the statue. If it lands in the mouth, your wish will come true. You hear that? Our wishes are waiting in the wing. <sighs> oh! Bummer. <laughs> Practically sent that thing back to Lucis. Caught an unlucky updraft. Leviathan's my chief. Oh, someone caught the secretary at Mario again. She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants independence. Maybe she can ally herself with the prince now that he's come back. Splendid. Where are we off to? Look, bet this would make a good pretty shot, too. Really? Oh, you're right! And look at all the little fishies! Makes me want to catch them all. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Peace be unto the province. Found it! Next stop, Lady Luna Freya's wedding dress. Let's take the gondola back. Of this. Then why don't you? Yeah, let's hit up Mago later. Wait a second. I definitely recognize this style from somewhere. <sighs> Care to get your portrait drawn? There, have a look. <laughs> wow, this is... What? What's what? Wait, that's me? But... <laughs> Without a doubt. Uh, I'd say she did a fine job capturing our most prominent features. Pro prominent features? <laughs> My nose is not that... prominent. <laughs> I, I don't know. Looks pretty close. <laughs> this girl's got some serious artistic sense.
So, care to take a cruise? Wow. Altitia is really something else. Oh, we ain't in Lucis anymore, fellas. Look, but don't touch. Do you like what you see? We actually found it. there. Step right up and try Altitia's famous Freedy. They're crispy, crunchy, and oh so delish. Greetings. Okay, look cute, ladies. Not seeing a way in. Do we have to wait again? Sure seems like it. One more. Let's do it. You're so bad. Here we go. Last one. Make this one, like, super cute. Yay! Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Guard. Gondola! Care for a ride? He must have been looking for Lady Luna Freya. <laughs> he wasn't able to get anything out of our Camellia. Not if I know our secretary. The Vivian Westwood store should Welcome be up these Welcome to Accordo, stairs. lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Weskamarma, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. So that's the final member of His Majesty's retinue. <laughs> Bet there's a lot we can learn from him. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. 
This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. So you see lots of Nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? We're good for now. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. <sighs> and the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence, I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. Remember, your heart is yours to follow. Just see to it that you proceed with caution. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah. Like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Knowledge is power, as they say. I'll share what I know. But my sources are secret. So, you've heard about that too. The talk of the town, as it were. We've some troublemakers on our hands. Up to the task? Okay, we're on it. It's in your hands now, lads. Do take care out there. Dad's friend seems like a cool guy. Just wonder how he ended up here. The Vivian Westwood store should be up these stairs. Splendid. Where are we off to? Thanks, honey. Oh, how about we head over there next? <laughs> Another great idea.
sure this is where they said we'd find our bounty? I'm sure. Our targets just decided to show up fashionably late. Hello there! Step right up and try Altisha's famous Freedy. They're crispy, crunchy, and oh so delish. Hello there! Step right up and try Altisha's famous Freedy. They're crispy, crunchy, and oh so delish. Wes is a local through. Got it. He can be a little Reggie Trust. Look, but don't touch. Do you like he what you see? He just stood there, staring at the church. If we lose his entire he just stood there, staring at the church and looking at the chancellor sad. shows up. Can you blame him? His sister was supposed to get married there, but he knew what was going to happen that day. He could have at least warned her. Well, what if he wanted to but couldn't? Must be eating him up inside. He just stood there, staring at the church and looking all sad. Can you blame him? He just stood there, staring at the church and looking all... Greetings. Care for a ride? The Vivian Westwood store should be up Teamwork these stairs. Teamwork is the key to wishing you lads. Splendid. Where are we off to? <laughs> <laughs> 